So this is the injector pump. So on these Caterpillars, they have six pumps that are run by a camshaft, which pushes this up and down, and it supplies the fuel to the injector, and then there's a rack that turns this gear that adjusts how much fuel goes to the injector. So earlier in the video, you saw us, this was loose, and we tightened it down, and when we did, the gear was not lined up with the rack because we didn't pull it out and look at it. So what happened was it bound up the rack and that's why our throttle wasn't working. We also found that the little yoke that holds this uh, tip, which makes it pull down so that it can pump, was broken. One ear is broken off of it. And I don't think we broke that. I think that it was already broken and may have been why the machine was shut down. And they may have started to work on it, which was why this was loose. So um, we're going to have to get a new yoke, but for right now we're just trying to get it loaded and get it hauled out of here. So we're just going to put this back together with the broken yoke and it's either going to work or it isn't, which will be fine for this. But our throttle should start working now, which will be a good thing. So we'll get that done and we'll get back to you. Uh, we'll film over here and kind of show what we're doing. Here, B, do you want to drop that? Is it ready to drop? Yeah, it's ready to drop. It's on the gear. So, so I have, so there's a line. You see the line right here. There's also a line on the rack, which is that rod that moves back and forth with the throttle. So we're making the assumption, it's an educated guess, that those lines are supposed to line up on the rack and the gear. And that's what times the injectors. Well, I'm going to do this. So we're making the assumption, it's an educated guess, that those lines are supposed to line up on the rack and the gear and that's what times the injectors. Well, I'm going to do this. I think it's just not a pair of feet. You ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to start it again. We think we got the throttle problem fixed. We can pull through at a time. Well, it, they roll really easy. Because so I'm thinking uh, instead of pulling all of this cable through every single one, we ought to do a couple. We might actually be able to finish it. Because once it's rolling, it's just getting run through. That's the hard part.
Since that's the last one, why don't you just pull it all through now? got this thing lined up good enough okay. it's cranking now let it get going yeah let it get rolling a little bit And you want it in fifth gear, or sixth, I mean. So what we're doing is we're gonna see if this pickup can pull this big D8. Just because. Just because we got nothing else to do, or just because it's fun. doing too good. Take your foot off the brake! <laughs> yeah. It's got the torque. Doesn't have the traction. Oh well, it was a fun experiment. You. I thought you told me it was ready uh, I was to go. I to tell you to give me air. I guess you had it open. Alright, the thing's got a horrible knock. There it is. So which way do we go with this? Just in the middle. Yeah, the blow by is back too once I heat it up. He's trying to turn. He is. That might be why he would have a broken crank. And then it like that. But then it starts to work. I'm guessing whatever hydraulics makes the steering stuff work is either low on oil or plugged filter or who knows. So 
we got the blade to go up on its own. We had to restring the cable. It was strung through the pulleys wrong. And it had gotten bound up. Now we're trying to get it loaded on this trailer. It's still not steering properly. So, we're just trying to bump it around, get it straight. Catch up. What's that? I thought maybe you saw us catch up. Hi. You saw? Us? Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, bye. Six gears forward. 